Hi, my name's Ray Clavon, and this is Clavon's Ice Cream Parlor here at 28th and Penn in the Strip District. The Originally, this was Clavon's Pharmacy. It was opened by my grandparents, Mary and James, in 1923, and they ran it as a pharmacy with the entire soda fountain, which was the thing to do back then. Most drugstores had a soda fountain. Uh, and they ran it from 1923 until my grandfather passed away in 1979. Uh, the, after he passed away, the place was closed for 20 years, just closed and boarded up. And in 1999, uh, my, my family and myself, my five sisters and two brothers and I, and with a great amount of help from our dear, dear mom, reopened it as an ice cream parlor. Beside ice cream, we also have a large selection of what used to be called penny candy. Well, of course, it's not a penny anymore, but you can still get something for a penny here. We have my grandparents' original penny gumball machine. And for a penny, of course, you get a gumball. But, oh, purple one. But if you get a white one with a little K on it, you can turn it into me, and I'll let you pick 25 cents worth of the other kind of penny candy. Now, back in the days when it was a drugstore, there was a register here, a cash register. And when my brothers and sisters and I were all young, we'd come to the store to help out, <laughs> sort of. And my grandfather, bless his little heart, had a great idea, built this little shelf, which now has to be 65 years old, to fit right on here so that we could stand here and help learn to count change and push the buttons on the register and make change for the customers. Such a thoughtful guy. When you visit, you'll be able to see a lot of the old pharmaceutical bottles as well as some of the things that my grandparents sold over the counter. And when you find out what this little thing is, I think you might be surprised. I sure was. And check out the phone booths. The light still works. The phone doesn't, but the light still works. And these phone booths actually saved my father's life back in the 1936 floods. Okay, Pittsburghers were warned in 1936, St. Patrick's Day, that the flood was going to be pretty bad. So my father stayed here at the drugstore to bring things up from the basement and stack them up on the counters and things because they didn't know quite how deep the water would be. But the water just kept rising and rising and my father had to climb on top of the phone booths to keep above the water. By morning, he had to be rescued through the window into a rowboat.